Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a batch of eggnog. Let's begin. To start on the eggnog you'll want to grab yourself a medium to large saucepan and into it place all of the milk. Then into the milk you'll also want to add in all of your double cream followed by some of the ground cinnamon and freshly grated nutmeg and then just a touch of vanilla. You will then want to go ahead and whisk everything together until it's fully combined. This doesn't take very long. Once you've got it all fully combined, you can then place it on the hob over a medium heat. While your milk mixture is coming to a boil, you can grab another large bowl and into it place your egg yolks and your granulated sugar and whisk them together until they are well combined. They'll be very light and fluffy and the volume should increase a significant amount that you notice. If it doesn't, just continue to whisk until it does. So once your milk mixture has almost reached the boil, you'll want to give it a good stir just so it doesn't catch on the bottom. And here is what it looks like in the final stages. It's just a very bland looking mixture, but don't worry, it gets spiced up in a minute. Grab your bowl with the egg yolks and the sugar and add in a small amount of the heated milk. And this is just to temper the mixture so it doesn't curdle completely once you add the rest. When you're ready, steadily pour in the rest of the milk mixture into the egg yolk mixture and just whisk until it's fully incorporated. Once that has been fully incorporated, you can go ahead and add in your alcohol. I'm using whiskey, but feel free to use what you would normally use. And then just whisk that in until it's fully incorporated. And then give the bowl a scraping down just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. You can then go ahead and grab yourself a new bowl. And into the bowl, add your egg whites. And then you'll just want to start to whisk them. And you'll want to whisk them up until they reach a stiff peak. Soft peak won't do, it needs to be a stiff peak. Just before you intend to serve the eggnog, you'll then want to fold the egg whites into the eggnog mixture and just fold it in until it's fully incorporated. Again, you don't want to do this until you intend to serve it. Ensure that the egg whites are fully incorporated. Then you can go ahead and grab yourself some glasses to serve the eggnog in. This would normally make around four to six generous sized glasses, but I've used some for another recipe, so here are two very generous portions. Just before you serve it, you'll then want to grate over some nutmeg. So that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another recipe, so join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description, there'll be a link to this recipe, link to my blog and links to all my social media. So don't forget to come follow me over on there, as I am trying to post more daily on Instagram and TikTok at the moment. So don't forget to go and follow me on there. But that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed. Bye, guys.